no AmericanThirdParty.com You can check us out online, everybody. If you haven't been a horror to talk about, you don't read or hear about in the mainstream media. Yeah, this is cool. I need to transition to something like, at least something with a beat. So let's play some Sister Fight. What do you say? We're having a fun time. This is Friday night. We're going to play some Can't Stop Till You Don't Stop. I know you guys want to hear it. Scissor Booty. Booty 2. Not can't stop because we won't stop. This is Scissor Booty. I kind of like this. Got a good back. Sexy. I can see my house is like You know, there's a reason why comedy is really important in movies during the war. Because they want to, they want to start a war, and we want to say, "Hey, let's get our head out of our." Why would we have a war right now? It's crazy. Robots are on their way. This is not one of those chat rooms. We're not one of those chat rooms. This is political, man. Oh, by the way, did you see the uh, images in the background? They are a constant roll of ghosts that have been in up around our house. That's an orb. The Sarah says it's a bug. I just don't understand these things. They're just always out there. It's weird. I tell you. It's a really sexy dance you got going right there. <laughs> well, what's this Woo! Song? I'll put the words up here in Spirit Land. Hell, isn't that special? Could it be? We'll say. Woo! Because I've got my Donald Trump wig, which I bought at the store. You fucking mutt! Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. Oh, that's bad. We don't. We. Oh, that's a bad thing. I can't. Stop that. Stop. Stop it right now. Can't dance stop, stop. We can't dance anymore. I'm sorry. We have hereby disallowed any free speech up to this point. On this evening. All right. Thank you. 
Yeah, somehow he put some nasty stuff in there, and I don't know if that's appropriate. It's just a little bit weird, if you know what I mean. Oh, my goodness. It was profane. I was shocked. Sarah and I have never heard that word except for about a thousand just times in our life. I just wanted to talk about some of your problems in life. Share. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Isn't it weird? Oh, yes. That is very weird. Okay, I'll stop it. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, thank you. <laughs> I, was, I was having fun with the camera. I just wanted to see how that was. But aren't these lights kind of strange? Now, what, what was that? How could these be bugs? Because the bugs come right here and then... And how come they're like a minute apart, though? A lot of these pictures are, are staged a minute apart, so the bugs are like a minute apart hovering. Come on. They're not just... That's just... Them. You really, theory? Come on. These how are... How many of you think these are bugs? Yeah, how many of you believe that these could be actual spirit orbs? Calling the spirit world. Calling the spirit world. Or let's so have a little don't seance. Don't the spirit world on Halloween. That's not good karma, man. Yeah, hey, I live in a world of bad karma. It's 2015. Halloween night. I mean, how much bad karma can you get? Well, let's be clear. Barack Obama's on Saturday Night Live joking and we're starting a war with Syria. I mean, hello? That's bizarre. I mean, that's weird, man. I'm, I'm like having to process this. I expected this to happen with uh, Richard Nixon. My fellow Americans, I'm going to bomb Cambodia because it's the right thing to do. I talked to my friends, Henry Kissinger and Bibi Rebozo. Mr. President, I advise that you uh, eliminate most of Southeast Asia with uh, napalm, preferably in the Tet Offensive, and we uh, will continue the depopulation plans. Well, thank you, Henry. Good night, Sunstar. Thank you for coming in. It's been great. I love to do, you know, kind of like a, a hairdo day. You know, more of our shows will have hair. Beautiful hair, long standing hair. I should be on Saturday Live. That's for people with no talent. Me, I'm going to sit around like this and have a good time, okay? You're not going to tell me what to do, okay? Yeah. So we're going to kind of like uh, hang out here on a nightly basis. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I, in no way, I in no way want you to think that this is anything like Saturday Night Live. We are talented here. Totally talented. We are even more capable than your robotic president, totally Barack capable. Obama. It is entirely possible that Barack Obama is a robot. And we'll talk about that in just Possibly. a bit. I look like a televangelist. Praise, Praise you. Praise the Lord. Sarah. There is some sort of a cybernetic world taking over. They are literally turning our presidents into robots. Uh, and the, the mark of the devil is being written into the RFID chipping oh, in our world that we live in. Oh, you want me to get back on the... the no, I'm going to dance with the president. Oh, okay. With the robot president. I am dancing with you, Sarah. No, the Barack Obama thing. Oh, you're dancing. Oh, I don't care. You do whatever you want to do. Bless you. Please remove uh, the, 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 the bad words in the chat room. Bless you. So we are literally seeing our world turn into robotized presidential candidates. And now... On the heels of, literally, an article that came out from Vanity Fair claiming that Hillary Clinton is not really human. If you haven't seen our show in the past five days, you would have missed it. So I'm going to bring it in now. All right, let's get ready to go and look at the world of Hillary. Here she is in front of a group of people in Iowa, and she's talking the entire. Uh, well, yeah, sure. They actually said, "Okay, fantasy, <laughs> <laughs> whatever." Okay, 